Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is May 19th, 2023, and I am finally here to talk about May events in Candy Crush Saga. Sorry I'm way behind the times. My mother-in-law had a complete shoulder replacement earlier this month, and so I had to give her a lot of attention, and now she's on the mend, and she's doing really well. So I am back in the game, literally. And I actually tried to do something a couple of days ago, but I wasn't getting all of the events. So I'm really hoping that I'll get some here now because my screen looks different. Let's jump in. We know King gives different things to different people. So here are the Jonas Brothers. I know almost, almost nothing about them. I know they're brothers and I know they're musicians. That's about it. I wouldn't be able to recognize any of their songs. But from what I understand, it's a pretty good group. I don't know. I, I'm inclined to like groups and people until I find reasons I shouldn't. So I'm excited about this. Let's see. I've got the booster wheel. Wow. That's the event I have. That's the only event I have. Why? Why does it do that? Well, sometimes you actually have to get into the game and play a level before it will give you any additional stuff to do. So let's go to the map and let's Let's go to level 6,000 because the 000 levels are usually fairly easy to win. So let me send my lives. Actually, what I also should do is come here because I've got 50 people asking for lives to be sent and I am neglectful in that. So that'll start ticking down, right? There we go. Those folks are getting their lives. And now I can play level 4,000, 6,000. Something like that. Something thousand. Let's jump in and just play this quickly so we can see how the rest of our events will populate, what we will get a chance to do. I love these zero, zero, zero levels because usually it's impossible or at least almost impossible to lose. You just keep hitting these things until uh, you get the desired result. It's funny, I can't reach over here. Oh, there we go. Got it. And uh, and then you get to use this for big rewards. If you need to collect something like color bombs, this is a great level to do it in. Look at this. I've got a color bomb dispenser. It's just taking everything out. If I need to collect fish, another great level for that. The stripes and the wraps, those are fairly prolific. They're all kind of streaming down there. So let's see what this does now for our events. If you ever get stuck where you're not getting events, this is something to try. Play a level and see what happens. Here we go. First event that populates. Here's Tiffy and it says, join Tiffy on the obstacle course by passing levels to reach a series of prizes. I'm going to try to get as much information from all of this as I can. It says by passing levels, normally when it's like this, it's new levels. Maybe we can pass old levels, but probably new levels. It says each more challenging and rewarding than the last. Beat the clock and make it to the last station to claim, ooh, a rare UFO booster. There it is. Look at that. So these are the different things we get. We start with a color bomb, then we get a color bomb stripe. Then we get a color bomb stripe. I should say stripe draft and then a lolly hammer, and then the last one has all of those plus a UFO. That's kind of nice. I don't know how many we will have to complete. Let's try to jump in and see. Unlucky, yeah, when you haven't been here for a while. Okay, so here's something to do with the Jonas Brothers now. It says Music Tour Leaderboard. So we've got a leaderboard event. I, I tried to look in King Community and didn't see a whole lot. So I don't think this is one of those leaderboards where you have to, you know, quarterfinal, semifinal type thing. It's probably just a one and done type thing. It says, join Misty and Tiffy at Chocolate Mountain Commune. Commune? Really? <laughs> Are the Jonas Brothers from like the 1960s? I if they were, I would know them a lot better because I know 1960s music. Commune. King, what are you doing? All right, anyway. Join Misty and Tivy at Chocolate Mountain Commune by collecting orange ticket candies. Now, previously, I saw purple guitars, 
I couldn't collect them. I got no leaderboard. And I did hear that other folks were having that same problem. So let's hope that doesn't happen here. Oh, wait, hold on. We're not going to go. We're going to try to get more information. But first, we're going to take a spin on the daily treat machine. See what we get. We get a coconut wheel. Now, let's see what else. Yeah, I don't want to buy anything. I never want to buy anything. Let's open this up again. There's an info button. How it works. Collect orange tickets to climb the leaderboard. Win UFOs by being, ooh, more UFOs, by being in the top three when the event ends. New levels award more points. So, sounds like we can play old levels in order to achieve orange tickets, but if we want the maximum number of tickets, we're going to play new levels. We'll probably get, in the past, it's usually been like a times 10 multiplier for these types of games. So that's the only info we get, huh? That is not a lot. We don't even know how long this lasts, so I'm going to have to play a level to find out. Let's see if there's anything else populated here that looks interesting. No, nothing else that is unique and exciting. Oh, reach rewards. This is giving us additional information. Zero out of five. In order to get this first award, I need to complete five levels and then I'll get a color bomb, which it's not a huge reward, but it's for completing levels. And if I'm completing levels anyway, it's just extra stuff. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is play a new level yeah, when we have to pass levels, these are new levels. I'm not even, I'm going to work under the presumption that it has to be new levels that we're beating in order to get to Tiffy. Yeah, because there it is. See, I have to get to here. And so what I'm going to do is play a new level so that I can find out where I am on the leaderboard, how much time I have to complete this, and what my multiplier might be. Now, oftentimes I hold off and I don't jump onto a leaderboard right away, especially when it is something like a quarterfinal, semifinal situation, and I'm competing against really aggressive people to try to get to the next tier. But this, I've got a lot of UFOs. I don't need any extra UFOs. What I want to do is get you as much information as possible. So if you decide, let's say it lasts for four days. If you decide you don't want to jump in until the very last moment, you'll know what that moment is so that you can make the best of your situation with the information you have. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play this off screen. I will be right back with some results. Okay, so let's see what information we can glean from this. 233. I didn't see a multiplier there. Oh, that happens to me sometimes, where it's supposed to give me a multiplier, but it doesn't. All it gave me was 233. Now, maybe I only collected 23 and there was a times 10 multiplier, but that didn't show up. Well, let's take a look at this. 60 hours. It is approximately 60 hours. It was 60 hours at noon my time on the, on the 19th of 2023. So you've got 60 hours in order to complete this. You have to do the math and adjust for your time. And also you want to make sure that if you do leave it to the end, you're willing to risk not make it making it onto the board at all. But it seems to be a really good strategy that I've used in the past for things like this. And it looks like there are three prizes. Top spot gets three UFOs. Second spot gets two UFOs. Third spot gets one UFO. I have to play another level and I have to see about that times 10 multiplier. For some reason, it's just evil to me when I start out. All right, I'll be right back for the next level. All right, let's see if we get that times 10 multiplier. Here we go. Hmm, I'm a little worried here. Yep, now we got a times 10 multiplier. It kicks in for me after that first level. It's a little rude. I get it. Now look at that. 
On my second one, I got a lot more tickets, but I dropped all the way down to the 13th position because as soon as people start playing, they tend to really jump up and get a lot of points. And there's speculation as to whether they're cheating or not. I don't care. What I care about is my conduct. Am I cheating? Nope. So if I'm not cheating, then I'm fine with whatever place I come in. If they're cheating, they can deal with their own conscience in order to <laughs> assuage their guilt, whatever they want to do. And, you know, I I'm not saying anything bad about the people who are in the top spots because 13,000 isn't an impossible amount to get in just a minute. Uh, and sometimes they're playing offline and they get awarded things. But there are some levels that can give a lot. So Victor over here, I don't think he's cheating. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, not only because it's a good thing to do, but also because I just truly don't believe he cheated to get that amount. Now, if he ended up with a million, then I would be suspicious. But no, I think he's on the up and up, and I'm just going to have stiff competition if I want to go ahead and participate in this. That's it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye.